Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. We're inside the car because it's like rain snowing out there. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but we are back at Sunbury Station here in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. I'm really excited to get back inside. It's been a little bit since we've been in here. You know, it's one of those situations where you always forget the ones that are closest to you. Um, I haven't been in here since October, hunting up for Halloween, so I'm excited to see if they've pulled out the Christmas. I know they do a really good job with their seasonal decor, hopefully, fingers crossed. So let's get in here, check it out, see what we can't find, and uh, let's do it. You guys, like I said, it's really coming down out here. We're going to cross the railroad tracks to get over here into the old train depot. I mean, I think we can all agree they've done a phenomenal job with the restoration. Check it out. Even the brick sidewalk, which I think was redone, maybe. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So here we go, guys. Alrighty, guys. So immediately walking in, we see a whole bunch of little stuff and some beautiful display cabinets. I did spot some Christmas over here. Wanted to check it out. We've got like a little Taiwan. Could be a made in Japan little Santa there in his original packaging. Wasn't too overly excited about it. So I said, no, let's leave that there. Now, I did spot some Halloween. It wasn't all packed away. First item that caught my eye was this Halloween fun book. Now, it's priced at $30. It seems that it's from Minneapolis. I have no idea. Oh, pardon me, $50. That would be why I left it behind. <laughs> but what I did spot for $30 was this Japan. It is a little bank here. It's in really good condition. Um, I'd actually had one that was similar to it, not identical. Um, I, I was kind of thinking about it. I put it down. We've got some other shopping to do, so we'll circle back. Hopefully nobody gets it. Uh, now I did spot this little Mark's toy. Uh, this is the back of the circus here, the little sideshow guys. We've got some pinups, some showgirls there, some more pinup cards here in the front, little advertisement cards, cute little, uh, litho, the tin, uh, with the image on there, the little bank with the Scotty dog. He was cute. Some Playboy items. Oh my. Got some incense there. 12 bucks. Interesting. Some great little lead figurines down here. I like that King Kong over there. That was interesting. Not sure if that's really my market. We do have a 10% off sale. Oh, see, I spot something that I totally didn't see because I was transfixed on this little sassy pixie up here. But I didn't get that sassy pixie. No, I didn't. Cute little Noma angel here, tree topper, that fireproof Santa. I don't believe you. Um, so you say. <laughs> We've got some pretty little uh, wedding baskets down here. Though I did find out recently that those were not actually wedding baskets, but they were advertised and sold as berry and fruit bowls. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, those Victorians really lived it up. Over here, we've got this interesting little print here. I'm not quite sure. It is a membership. That's a really interesting subject matter. I don't know, again, that I have the market for that. Always important to know, um, you know, what has and what has not sold for you. Um, and if it sold successfully, if it has sold. One thing that has sold success for, successfully for me in the past are these little autographed albums. Um, obviously, there's some condition issue. We got a date there of December 25th. Love that Christmas gift. There are a couple of signatures in here. Uh, unfortunately, there really weren't enough to warrant me picking it up. Um, sadly, they just either forgot about it, but it seems that there's about five or six signatures in here. So the image on the front wasn't striking enough, but obviously is missing its little detail there. So we left it behind. Now, something that I haven't really showcased here at Sunbury Station, there are a number of crystals, minerals, agates. They've got some coins in here. So if you're in the market, you're in the area, just know that you can stop by here and you will be able to pick those up. Geodes, I'm not really familiar, overly familiar with a lot of the technical terms for those, but did want to ca capture it there. Creepy little train man there. I see it. Even some spices. Now, I did spot some Christmas here. Mm, nothing really calling my name, but that vintage Nintendo sure is. $80 it says it's tested and worked. It looks like it has its remote controls and little gun there. Not bad. Remember, those came out back in the day. They were $100. That was pretty steep back then. Now they're, what, like $500 <laughs> for a gaming system? Uh, cute little elf marching band. Three-piece set marked at $40. A little rich for our reselling blood, but cute nonetheless. 
going to move on here. I think these cabinets, these display cabinets are actually new. Not mad at it. The more you can get in, the better off you are. We've got some Pyrex here, obviously. Did see the uh, little pink berry here. It's cute. A little mixing bowl priced at $45, the largest, of course, of this set. Other patterns didn't seem to really be all that exciting or wowy. So we left those sit on the shelf for somebody else that was going to come along and appreciate them. Some pull togethers. We got some advertising pieces, some little soapies there. You're seeing them, the soap bottles with the Flintstones. Cute, but mm, no. I see a lot of those in a lot of different places, a lot of characters. I don't really think that they're overly that rare or hard to find. I'm sure that there are certain characters that are, though. Again, we've got another little pull together of the Christmas. Going to check it out here. Interesting little advertisement piece there, that tin. Mm, just not the kind of Christmas that I'm looking for. Now, keep in mind, this video is coming out relatively close to Christmas, but I did spot this green little pixie. Look at that sassy man there. He's absolutely adorable. He was priced at $18. Now, I did buy him. I sold him. He sold for $45, so that was some good money on that. These cute little felt Santas in here, they look like little con candy containers almost. They do have them listed as ornaments from Montgomery Ward in their original packaging. $24 for the set. They look to be very clean. There was no discoloration on them, but I didn't really want to take a risk on those. I thought $24 was kind of pushing it. Um, ideally, I would want to start that at like $20 just to kind of gauge the interest and then go from there. Loving this little plush Santa here. Some of these, and I cannot remember the original manufacturer. I do know that the antique ones, that they would have like a um, the manufacturing name on them. He is definitely vintage. Got a little little uh, staining to him, but I don't think it's so overly distracting. Now, we're going to pop in here, see what else we can't find. This interesting little cupie here. He does have a sticker on him. Oh, look at that. We were an official Rose O'Neill product with the little blue wings. I'm not sure what's going on here. It almost made me think it was a powder shaker, but I didn't see um, where you would be able to put the powder in unless you bought it as such. Oh, but look at that. It is. So you would have purchased this. The powder would have already come in there, probably just located in the head, and you could have shaken it out. So that was interesting to see. Unfortunately, the price wasn't where I needed it to be, and that was okay. Some pretty little carnival glasses swung there. Oh, we do see it all. Look at that beauty there. That Ellie Smith bittersweet in the simplicity line. This is more towards the floor vase, so they do, of course, make them larger than this. It is just a great example of some beautiful mid-century glass. I love the coloring on Bittersweet. It does have some schmutz on it. There was no price. Going to walk it back up front to find that out. They had to call the vendor, so we're going to continue on here. I uh, do see some salt and pepper shakers. Absolutely loving them. I think that they're really cute, but there's nothing that's so, like, different. I do like the little angelfish here. Um, but yeah, the little anthropomorphic pineapples, those are cute. These little cuties here, I don't know why I didn't get them. Um, you know, the price was pushing it. I believe they were at 15 yeah, for this set. I think that they are cute, but I would have preferred to have started these guys off at 15 I've seen similar ones, and they've done well. Um, but again, I'm trying to be conservative on the prices and just really being conscious of where to start things off at. These cute little stacking ones here, very 1930s in that colorway there. They are stamped Japan. I like how the one sits on top of the other. That's cute. It's clever. Um, but again, just not where I need it to be for reselling. We do. We have been running into that more and more often. <laughs> uh, this is cute. This was actually up front. Uh, the little Napco here. Or beg pardon, the Lefton, priced at $35. This one has, she's ready to serve that turkey for, for November. Moving on here, did see some of the light clips, the candle clips there, but eh. Little pets, the pleasure book. I assumed that they, these were going to be black and white illustrations in here. I really do look for color uh, illustrations. Um, they, they're just the vibrancy of them. The black and whites typically don't do that well. Um, while they are beautiful, the illustrations are beautiful, it's the vibrancy of the colors that really helps sell those items. So we would definitely keep that in mind. 
And speaking about something that's bright and vibrant, check out these Santos friends. They're electrified, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it looks like they're like 70s, early 80s, little light covers. I think it's absolutely adorable. They display beautifully. Working set at $65. I don't know that it would take much for them to work because they're light covers. So if the light strand didn't work, you could certainly switch those out. It does look like it comes with what could be its original light set, but at $65, could not couldn't do it. I can't believe this. This is a shoe nut. Uh, it is an upright piano. Now, it kind of plays, not all of the keys play, um, but I had just found one. This is a later model, uh, probably from the 50s. Again, they made these beginning in the 1800s up through the 1950s and 60s. Again, a later model. I like seeing it. It's actually smaller than the one that I got, um, so it, I was happy to see it. I'm glad that I found the other one first because I probably would have been more tempted to pick up that green one. This is really interesting. This cat paws. These are the rubber heels. I've never found this packaging before. More rectangular in shape. Typically, you'll find the squares. Um, actually, 12 bucks. It's really not that bad. I do think that there was some additional money on that. But with the Halloween season being over, sometimes it, when you're in the midst of one holiday, selling another holiday can be a little bit difficult. Not to say that it can't be done. And we'll see an example of that later on. Yes, we will. Um, so we have entered into another room here. There's lots of Christmas that's set up. We've got this vintage Santa suit. No, not so much. Um, a little like snow globe Santa there in his belly. Interesting subject matter. That's for sure. Um, some of the cello reeds there. I do have some of those that are on standby for reeds that I just simply haven't had the time to make. Unfortunately, <laughs> we've got some die cuts here with the blue eyed. Uh, winking Santa Q. We've got some of the old string lights as well as replacement bulbs. Not really what I'm looking for. We've got some of the blow molds here. We've got a very tall but thin ceramic Christmas tree. That one's priced at $175. Mm, yeah, I definitely wanted to take our time. I love this blow mold. Well, it's not really a true blow mold. It's kind of like a, um, it's got a cardboard backing on that. It's got some condition issues to it. It's at $40. I don't know what was up with that creepy set there, but jeez. Hmm. Moving on, we've got a lot of Ziploc baggy items here. I want to check through these, see if we can't find anything. Hmm. No, not so much, though that there is a sale. I just didn't really see anything. I kind of don't want to force it. You know, I want to find stuff that's unique and different. Not this, no. Giant blow mold Santa, cute, but no shigar. Cute little vinyl animals there. Mm, yeah, no. Just not feeling that. No. Yeah. Mm. This little light set was interesting. Kind of like in the putt style, those cardboard. $50 for the set of four, that's not bad. Especially, again, given the condition of the item. I think that really does make it worth it. Interesting little hobbyist piece up here with Santa and Mrs. Claus that are decorating the tree. I think that's cute. I would have liked to see that in more of a mid-century colors, using like turquoises and that mint, that jadeite green as well as pinks. I think that would have been really striking, but they didn't ask me when I painted it. I don't know. <laughs> Some cute stuff, but we're going to move on here. We did find some glass here. Um, some interesting little art glass. It's $28. I am not overly excited by the subject matter. It's cute, but eh. It's just got that eh. You know, we need that whoa factor. Little bluebird down here and some paperweights. Cute, but nothing's really standing out to me. We do have another pull together of some glassware here. Some of the carnival. These look more contemporary. Um, and some art glass down there at the bottom. That fairy lamp. That was at 50. Coming up, we've got some bud vases here. And then we've got some larger pedestals here. I like these. Um, these are going to be, it looks like we've got two Ellie Smiths as well as one Viking. The Viking is the Blue Meek here in their drapery line. This one's priced at 75. It's a little steep. I did go ahead and take a chance on it. Um, ultimately, it sold for $125, so there was a $45 profit on that. I'm not going to turn my nose up at $40, um, you know, and that's just at the name of the game sometimes. And you want to have dy dynamic and exciting items. You want to have items that are of worth, um, and I think that that really does help build excitement for your sale. 
Alrighty guys, that's it for the first floor. We're gonna head on up here to the second floor, checking out these jardinier stands here, or plant stands. Um, I think I've shown case these before. They're absolutely stunning. You know, early, or pardon me, late 1800s, early 1900s. I do believe that they are original to the train station. We've got some little souvenir t-shirts. Gonna swing around over to We're gonna check out the treasures. Kind of treasures do you have in here some desktop blow molds uh cute but i just again i'm not overly excited about it mm, oh but wait a minute i do spot this little salt and pepper shaker set here i love the colorway on this it's joanna parker now it is a contemporary piece but you got to keep your eye out sometimes some of those contemporary pieces especially in vintage and antique style can be worth some money so I am going to go ahead and look these up, see if there's any value on them. Um, it turns out that there isn't a whole tremendous amount of value. They're about $15. Um, so they're pretty spot on, dollar or two below retail. So can't be mad at it. Just not enough room for profit on that one. We obviously have moved on here. I seem to be in some kind of rush today. I don't know what it is. You got. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, Michael, slow down. Um, lots of natural light in this room, though, but... Uh, I don't really see a whole lot of turnover in this room. They have added some Christmas items. These are cute. Um, just not overly excited about it. I actually picked it up thinking I might be able to use that uh, for a craft supply, but no. Those plastic inserts are just all clear. I do like the, uh, the tinsel or the foil little lights to them, but not enough to warrant really wanting to rip those apart. And they were in their original packaging and you know, sometimes you got to gauge whether it's worth it or not. Moving on, we've got some more contemporary items here, though Christmas collectibles, if you will. Just not what I'm looking for. Some books. I always got to check out the books. Little dolly, creepy dolly there. Surprised I didn't investigate her even further. <laughs> got to keep it weird, folks. Got to keep it weird. Mm, this booth looks kind of picked over or just not heavy on the inventory, though. I do want to make sure I don't miss anything here. Mm, nothing saying take me home. Mm, very little in here. Ooh, Christmas land over here. All kinds of the goodies. But no, I'm going to stay focused. We've got an ironing board set up here with some Christmas ornaments. I'm going to look through these. I see some vintage inspired, but no true vintage. Like that Santa uh, light bulb. That was a contemporary piece. Mm. Yeah, I don't see anything here on the desk. Mm. Those gorillas, the train chained gorilla family, those are cute, but I just don't know if there's a lot of people out there that are looking for chain gorillas. I mean, hey, maybe they are. I just don't know that they're coming to the sales. This giant set up too, Mr. and Mrs. Claus here, that's a really good price on those. They're huge. They're not the little ones. Check out the Union Pacific blow mold here. I love this Christmas tree. This one's priced at $80, which is relatively inexpensive especially seeing a lot of the ones typically they're like listed at 150 or above and they don't have their original box to it so i was quite excited about it i mean i think the box itself it's just mid-century goodness hmm you know what there's always that glue line there going down the seal just wanting to check see how everything is underneath it here now, I do run some comps, and for whatever reason, you can find them for like $60 on eBay with the box. So, that's a no-go for us. Um, I do like to look things up on eBay. Um, and while you, you know, as they say, asking ain't getting, if I'm going to spend $80 on something that I really want to make, you know, at least $120, and if you can go over to eBay and get it for $60, then why in the world would you buy it from me, you know? Um, I think it's important to never take those things for granted um, and to always be aware of kind of what's out there and the different price points that are out there. So here we've got some beaded Christmas trees. They're priced at $25, which <laughs> is quite reasonable. I don't know the safety pin art has really gained in popularity. These are giant. I, I thought that they were going to be more paper mache, but these things are solid. 
um, the weight on those kind of was going to be cost prohibitive for shipping, given what the item is. Sometimes it's, if it's a very desirable item, I would pick it up, even though it's a heftier thing. Um, but I just, again, with those particular items, don't think that there's going to be a whole lot of demand. So, got some larger kind of advertisement pieces. There's two turkeys fighting in the middle of the antique mall, because why not? I mean, I don't... <laughs> okay. <laughs> weird. Um, and not really the kind of weird I'm looking for, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of like an, oh, okay, sure. Why not have two turkeys fighting in your living room again? Man cave. You know what? To each their own. Speaking of to each their own, it's going to get a little weird here. There are going to be some weirder items, the macabre items coming up here. I always like to kind of put that out there before you guys continue on. Um, some kind of creepy thing. So now is the time to say see you later. <laughs> Until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye. Um, no, but seriously, we do have some really interesting books here. Uh, some medical encyclopedias. Um, the health knowledge priced at $35. That was the modern modern medical connoisseur. The other ones were priced at $110. Here we've got another little voting box. I've actually picked one up before in oh, that they are. We've got the black and the metal uh, marbles in there. You, know, you cast your boat by putting in the leave, you know, white being yes, black being no. Now this one is priced at $110. Uh, not where I need it to be, though I do love the intricacy, the little detailing there at the top. Now here I spotted some antique cameras. Um, you know, Richard actually does collect antique cameras, so he took a picture. We do end up taking one of those cameras home with us today. Well, it was only $10. It's more of a display piece. It's non-functional. These little guys I love. These are Harmony Village. These are out. It's like a cast resin. Um, but look at the sculptural detail on them. You see the little mouse kind of peeking out there. Uh, little trinket dishes. Um, you know, you open them up. Typically, there's like a little sculptural surprise on the interior. You've got the cats here all climbing over it. Look, again, the little mouse is peeking out. I just love them. Sculpturally speaking, I think they're quite dynamic. And it, it's, a, it's a fun little see what you can kind of see in them. Um, some are worth some money, some are not. Those, unfortunately, just really aren't worth a whole lot. Uh, the Bella Lugosi kind of death mask. I don't know. I don't know if that's original or if there was maybe at one time for his prosthesis or costumes, there might have been a mold made and then it kind of has been reproduced. This guy over here, uh, the dummy, the CPR, but why with the teeth? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, little rat nip kill them rats with them lightning bolts i don't think that if they contained lightning in there i don't now over here i did spot some little wooden circus trains i got really excited by them and then i got really confused by them because you see the one on the top right this red one here i was like this is fisher price but it doesn't and i have this it doesn't have this detail on here and i'm like how much is this this is like 40 dollars it seems that what happened was that there were these wooden circus toys that are vintage that were kind of like added onto with little embellishments to give them a little bit more of an antique look. I can appreciate that. I really, truly can. Um, unfortunately for me, it seems like the condition of the actual boxcar seemed to be in pretty good vintage condition. The Fisher price is kind of questionable. The green one here, uh, while well, again, I respect it, I almost wish it hadn't been done because I would have been more interested without all of the embellishments, without the added on paint detailing to it. Um, but it is what it is. And again, that's just kind of one of the to the, each their owns here. I really loved this green one, but the wheels, those definitely were added to, um, which, you know, c'est la vie, I guess. I think for the right collector, uh, it would be cute. Now, I am back downstairs and I'm kind of checking things out. And I did see some more of the Harmony Village, but these are Christmas related. This little thing, there's a little, what is not belonging in there? It's a little ceramic arm holding what looks to be like a violin or cello. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and slip that over here. Now, this is the Santa. He is coming down through the chimney. It appears that he's gotten stuck. Two of the reindeer are in the back trying to pull him out. And then we've got one that's a little bit more nefarious and has decided to try to blow 
Santa out of the chimney using a little TNT or dynamite. Look at him there. He's lighting the... See the brick that's missing? He's about to pop that down there. Well, I don't know about that. That Santa is just spooked. He's like, get me out of here. And then, as I said earlier, there are little sculptural um, details in the interior. Obviously, it's the fireplace, the little hearth there with the stockings. And we do spot another one here right next to him. This is the Santa who's obviously had a hard day at work, and he is taking a snooze here in his rocking chair, but unfortunately, looks like a reindeer has gotten caught underneath it, and he's getting smushed. Uh, bless. These guys are only $12. We're definitely going to pick up the chimney one there. I really am digging this one. It's obviously vintage from 1998. I think we're going to go ahead and get this one. I want to check out what the detailing is on the interior, but it looks like it was broken and glued back together. So we've got a penguin in there eating all of the cookies. Uh, I love it, but unfortunately with that repair, I'm going to have to leave that one behind, but we're going to get the other. And you guys, we are going to go ahead and pick up the Ellie Smith a bittersweet vase here at 125 I know that seems crazy, but it sold for $270, so I'm not mad at it. And for $30, we're going to pick up this like new vintage lithograph um, with the fame, pardon me, and it works. Yes, it does. What? The coffin bank. I know I said, but it's just, it's in such good condition. And you guys, before we leave, I spotted this little uh, baggie here of Christmas figurines. They're absolutely adorable get all five for twelve dollars heck yeah i had to clean them up but definitely worth a little bit of the elbow grease well guys that's our last get we're gonna wrap it up outside Alrighty, guys don't you love my new little friends there i'm digging it uh there is today's shop with me video i hope that you guys did have a good time as always, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.